Hello food fans, today we're going to have a spaghetti war. We're going to compare two different spaghettis. This is a frozen food spaghetti. This is Lean Cuisine and it has a total of nine and no, yeah, nine and one half ounces there of spaghetti and meatballs and it actually looks pretty good. I think it'll win the beauty uh, contest of the spaghetti meals. And the other uh, spaghetti we're going to compare is Walmart's and it's called Great Value Spaghetti and Meatballs and this one wins the war by far as far as price is concerned because you get 15 ounces of uh, spaghetti and meatballs for 67 cents which is about one-third of what uh, this uh, lean cuisine cost. So uh, knowing that information I guess the only thing that we can do right now is let's get started. And the beauty contest winner still is lean cuisine. It looks very good. This is the lean cuisine in the center and this is the Walmart brand it is uh, sadly in need of lots and lots more pasta. It's uh, just mainly a thin sauce, but it might taste good, who knows. And uh, this one has plenty of pasta, and it has the uh, meatballs, and this one has the meatballs. And what I'm going to do to begin Is mix my salad. This is the regular salad that I have every day with the uh, exception of I don't have tomatoes today so I have cabbage and carrots and I have mayonnaise, relish and ketchup and this makes a delicious salad. Should be nutritious. And in the uh, Spaghetti Wars the Walmart uh, 15 ounce can has uh, it has the nutrition facts with uh, information about two servings per can. So any numbers you see here, you multiply it times two to get uh, the full amount that is in the can. And the Lean Cuisine has just the information for one serving. They know this is one serving. And this is a smaller serving, but it seems to have more pasta in it. So uh, we shall see what uh, happens. And the Lean Cuisine has 16 grams of protein, it's one serving, and the Walmart has uh, protein 9 grams times 2, times two so it would be 18 grams of protein. So Walmart has more protein but it also has a lot more fat in it. Uh, and let's see what we have here, total fat. 5 grams of fat, and that's for one serving, just what we have here, 5 grams of fat. And then this one has uh, total fat 10 grams times 2, so 20. So uh, nutrition-wise, I would guess that uh, the Lean Cuisine is uh, probably a bit better for a person. Let me taste some of my salad. Salad is good. Let me taste the uh, Walmart spaghetti, which is mostly mostly spaghetti sauce. Walmart's meatballs look to be about the same size as the Lean Cuisine. The spaghetti tastes okay, nothing wrong with it. I'll add a secret ingredient. Some cheese, grated style cheese. And there we go. 
it'll make a big difference in the taste. And I'll, first of all, I'll taste the uh, lean cuisine before I put any cheese on it and have a meatball there with it. This is definitely uh, a better recipe, I would say, as far as the amount of spaghetti that you get uh, in the meal. It is quite good. Cheese doesn't want to come out. There we go. Put some cheese on both of them. And see what happens. And I'll talk a little bit about uh, some shows I worked on. This is with the cheese. Quite tasty, very, very good. The cheese does make a difference. The um, next time I use one of the cans of the Walmart spaghetti and meatballs, I'll just boil some water and put in some pasta first, and then then add the can to the cooked pasta, and there'll be enough extra sauce here to make a pretty good meal, I think. Let me try this one again. I want to get one of the, the uh, meatballs here. I will see that the taste test, lean cuisine tastes better. Of course it is more expensive, but it tastes better. And um, what I've got here, pull this over here, I'll just glance at some, uh, some of my entries in the, uh, more or less like a diary that I kept when I was working as a movie extra. Worked on Heartbreak, <coughs> excuse me, Heartbreak Ridge. That was a Clint Eastwood movie where they used my car. Worked Blind Date, one day on Blind Date, that was uh, Blake Edwards directed that one. Inner Space, I don't remember that. Uh, some Kind of Wonderful, that was Eric Stoltz. We did a restaurant scene and that worked three days. I didn't realize it worked three days on that. Summer School, I don't remember what that was. It seems to me there was a uh, an airport scene of some sort, but I don't remember what it was. Summer School. Um, a lethal Weapon, I worked one day, I don't remember what I did on that. Uh, I had a silent bid on Slammer. Slammer was um, Madonna's movie that I think it was called That Girl. Uh, and they had a working title of Slammer. Dragnet, 1987, I worked four, no, five days on that. Uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I did a lot of airport scenes on that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, nine days on that. License to Drive, I worked one day on that. That was with uh, the Corys, Corey Hain, Corey Feldman. Let me put that down and get some foodsy woodsies. Uh, use this spoon. And get some salad. Spaghetti is one of my favorite foods, and there are many different. Uh, types of spaghetti. Corey Haim and Corey Feldman were nice to work with. They did use my car in the movie, but I think the scene where my car was used, was never used in the movie. When I worked uh, 
with my car, which was a 1969 Rambler station wagon, a car with character, according to Clint Eastwood. The uh, car would be hired for $27 for the day the car got $27. But in order to get the car, they had to hire me also. And I was making, I think that was about $91 back in those days. So I'd get $91 plus the $27 for the car. If I had a real vintage car, and now, nowadays my 1969 Rambler would be considered vintage, but in those days it was just considered a, a car with character. But if you had a Rolls Royce or a vintage, say, 1940s car, or a taxi cab, or a police car, some people had their own cars were painted like police cars and they just put a whatever decal on and they're ready to go. That that paid a hundred dollars for that car. This is actually good. I, I would be glad to eat the uh, spaghetti and sauce with um, the Walmart canned spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, but they should add more spaghetti pasta strands to it. Nothing wrong with the taste, just it needs needs that extra carbohydrates, 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 carbohydrates. Yeah, planes, trains, and automobiles. I was in um, airport scenes, always airport scenes. Worked nine days filming supposedly different airports. They would just change the set around, turn the benches a different way or whatever, and became a different airport. We didn't actually work at the airport. John Candy was nice. Worked several Steve Martin movies. Let's see what else we got here in the uh, diary. If you get into movies, you never know where you're going to be working tomorrow. What in the world does that say here? Okay, industrial movies. I worked a Honda industrial movie. Worked a Honda Odyssey. I guess that was the model of the car. One day. Commercials always paid a lot more. About three times as much as a job in a movie or TV show. And they had better food for the uh, people working in the commercial. Really good jobs. I had a lot of good commercials, but I don't have them listed right here. Hand in. Uh, Blood Feud. I worked in uh, Blood Feud with uh, Bobby Blake, Robert Blake, who was Beretta. More food beer here. And then Robert Blake helped me get a lot of extra money on that show. He got me upgraded. He told the director a better way to do a scene and it involved giving me more money, which was not a big deal as far as that particular director in that particular movie. Some movies are very strict about money. They have only a certain amount and that's it. And you can't get any more. I was fortunate to be in Screen Actors Guild, Screen Actors Guild, 
after the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists and the Musicians Union. So if something was done on film or tape, I was uh, ready. It's a good big spaghetti dinner here. The can of spaghetti, if I added my own pasta to it, would be a very big meal. Lean Cuisine not only has more spaghetti, they have a uh, better texture to the spaghetti. It's not as soft as the Walmart. Hope everyone's having a good 2021, what is left of it. Salad time. Look at a couple more notes here in the diary and see what uh, kind of memories it uh, gives me. Gotcha. I worked on Gotcha. Mainly my car worked on Gotcha. Just a bunch of traffic scenes. So if you're watching Gotcha sometime, I worked three days on that. Actually, three nights. My car, the Rambler, was rolling around, so you might see that in Gotcha. Vacation, Chevy Chase's movie. I'm invisible in one scene on the upper right where Chevy Chase walks into the cowboy bar scene and uh, tries to act like a cowboy. I'm just a customer in the diner. I also worked um, with Chevy Chase, I worked. Vacation, I worked Vacation 2, I worked Fletch, I worked Under the Rainbow, and uh, Deal of the Century? Yeah, Deal of the Century. Legal Eagles I worked. Tough Guys. Tough Guys gave me a chance to work with uh, Kirk Douglas and Burt Lancaster at the uh, City Hall of Los Angeles City Hall. I didn't get to talk to them or anything, but uh, I worked with them and saw them in person. <clears throat> Kirk Douglas lived to be over 100 years of age. So did Bob Hope, George Burns. I worked with George Burns twice. I worked with him in a movie called Going in Style. I was a cowboy in front of the um, Aladdin Hotel. I'm older now than George Burns was then when I worked with him, the first time I worked with him. Second time I worked with him, he was about 80, I guess, and worked on, uh, what, what was it called, Two of a Kind. A TV movie with Robbie Benson.
George Burns was uh, just a very relaxed person when he wasn't working. He was sitting down. He would chat with people, but um, he didn't jump up and down, go around annoying anybody. He was a nice person to work with. Olivia de Havilland lived to be over 100. Estelle Winwood lived to be over 100. Bob Hope still danced well when he was in his 80s. I've known several people who um, managed to sing well, very well, into their 80s. The salad is gone. Finish up the spaghetti here. First of all, uh, Root beer. I work with John Houston, great director. He directed uh, some of Humphrey Bogart's movies. Plus he acted in movies. Now when I worked with him, he was quite old. I don't know exactly how old he was, but he was on oxygen as he was directing the movie. He listened to uh, myself and two other people. We were playing music on the set of Annie when they would uh, break down the camera to move it to a different location. We could make some music and John Houston listened to us sing a few songs and said, good music, fellas. I think his best movie was Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Both uh, brands of spaghetti I probably will have again. Of the old time directors, I also worked with Richard Brooks. I worked with some name directors, not necessarily known as directors, but they were directing when I worked with them. Like Warren Beatty, I worked with him when he was directing. I worked with Clint Eastwood when he was directing. I worked with Leonard Nimoy when he was directing. Um, who are some of the other famous people for acting? Jackie Cooper, or Co Jackie Cooper, who had been a child star. When he got older, he directed TV shows. I worked with him. Of the people who are big names now, I worked with Tim Burton. He directed Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Fun movie. They should do Pee Wee's Big Adventure continued or part two or
uh, whatever. It was a fun movie to work, and it was a very big paying movie because we went into what's known as golden time. We worked more than 16 hours straight. <clears throat> Time for dessert. I am a person who likes to lick the cover of the uh, yogurt. This is uh, cherry yogurt. I got this at Aldi. So I got three different supermarkets going here. The cheese <clears throat> came from Kroger. The dessert came from Aldi. And I guess all the rest of it came from uh, Walmart. Or possibly. The spaghetti might have come from Kroger. But the Walmart spaghetti came from Walmart. This is good. Cherry yogurt. It was 34 cents before the um, increase in prices became noticeable. Um, yeah, I guess all over the world. It was 34 cents. Now I think it's something like 38 cents. Someday the pandemic will be history. Some root beer. And I thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and uh, we'll do this again sometime. Thank you for watching.